is what we call hater shit. shit. There is no better term. Oh my gosh, did we find a post that doesn't say Mrs. Fucking A. <laughs> I found it. Dude, that's... I'm, this, <laughs> poor thing. Poor Xavier. All right, so what do I mean when I say cooking or cooking? Um, one of many things, context, context, context. Uh, it could mean you're recording. It could mean you're creating. It could mean you're getting things done. It could literally mean you're cooking. It could then let's just not, let's not do that. Like if I'm saying I'm cooking, that that means I'm in the kitchen cooking. If I hear someone say I'm I'm cooking and they're nowhere near a kitchen or somewhere else. I'm thinking that they're cooking meth or some shit. Let's not do that. Let's not let's not start making that a thing where oh cooking can mean mean anything. Cooking can mean I'm cooking up a narrative. I'm cooking up um my makeup. I'm cooking up a uh a portfolio. Let, no. I'm on location for the Earth photo shoot, the second of a series of four for my production. It could mean you're cooking drugs. It could mean you're cooking up a script. It could mean you're wow. altering things or working on audio. When we say uh, we're cooking and we're working on examples of conversations that have happened but are not the actual conversation, they're cooking. They're cooking the conversation, they're cooking possible outcomes. Um, again, this is one of many words that have so many context, uh, things, uh. But there's also many words that mean different things. So, like, can we just use those words instead of using one word for everything? I mean, I understand what she's saying, but that, let's not do that, please. Causal and important factors. Uh, in understanding. You cannot understand what a person means if you don't understand the context of the word. Many words have the Wi-Fi on. It'll still read the Wi-Fi if it's on the phone. Okay, can you hand me my bags? Good morning, you guys. So, again, it's the exact same shit. Literally a repeat of year four, uh, four years ago, and three years ago, as well as two years ago. Um, last year, I was told that this was my redemption, that they were running corruption traps everywhere. We I really wish I could To see advised it. us, to see who turned their face the other way with no assistance. Um, that being said, I was physically beaten on Sunday night at a park, a public park, while laying on a yoga mat um, by myself. Xavier went to go get a pizza that had been donated I had just finished a photo shoot. He was going to Uno's um, to pick up the pizza on the corner of Irving Park Road and Lawrence, um, at which point in time, within 10 seconds of him leaving, maybe 30, I was approached, ambushed rather, by three officers holding flashlights in my eyes, um, and they put on rubber gloves very quickly, so that indicates premeditation that they had already an idea they were going to physically assault me. Um, they told me, get up and go. I got up. I said, why were you here two hours ago telling us it was fine to be here? My husband went to get a pizza saying we're going to watch a movie. He interrupts me. Get your shit and get the fuck out. I'm moving as fast as I possibly can. I'm, I'm pregnant. They know I'm pregnant. Um, he said as long as we did not uh, leave our belongings in his park, his park, uh, that we would be fine, uh, but that if we did leave our belongings in his park, they would be thrown away uh, into the trash by the trash man. Uh, <clears throat> Xavier expressed understanding at that time, and again, the police left. We were doing a photo shoot directly across the street from Schiller Park Police Station. I could oh, spit onto the police station from the that? park that we were at. Clearly, I'm not hiding anything. Clearly, I'm oh not doing God. anything wrong. I've already asked every single one of these members of law enforcement for assistance. They already have numerous police reports on file. None of them give us any direction on where to go, what to do, etc. The past 
I don't know, four months have been calm. They've been putting us in random locations, uh, the side of the road, uh, underpasses. I still continue to file police reports. I still continue to call the Daily Center 555 West Harrison, every local authority and every area authority. No one. I don't know why Instagram doesn't let you pause on the video. It drives me crazy. Watch there. There's probably like a, a way and I just haven't figured it out. But we did already watch this. I just needed to rewind it so I could commentate on some. Hiding anything. Clearly I'm not doing anything wrong. I've already asked every single one of these members of law enforcement for assistance. They already have numerous police reports on file. None of them give us any direction on where Same to go, what shit. to do, etc. The past, I don't know, four months have been calm. They've been putting us in random locations, uh, the side of the road, uh, underpasses. I still continue to file police reports. I still continue to call the Daily Center five by Okay, so this is going to be really aggravating. Actually, I probably didn't have to do that. No one gets back to us. We're into four years of this. I have three children. Okay, what aggravates me whenever she was saying this was they're placing us here and they're placing us here. Who, who is that? I've never been homeless, so that, but I didn't, where, who the fuck does that? Where, who, who works like that? Never in my life have, has there anyone been homeless and said, oh yeah, they placed me here. No, if you're homeless, you find, you find where you're gonna, you're gonna spend the night. And if you don't want people messing with you, bring as much things with you as possible. In the shower. Ambulance taken to Swedish Covenant Hospital, given emergency surgery, kept in the hospital three days. Children, it's been another nine weeks, which is the second longest period in her life since I've seen my youngest child, Alexis Rubio. I legally have primary custody of all three of my children. I am being oppressed. I am being held outdoors. I am being chased and harassed out of every job that I get that's more than 20 legal places of employment where I am harassed out within the first week or month. The only exception has been Gittier, where I worked for four or five months no reprimanding never got in trouble uh went into preterm labor with my children uh the twins Dumb. on december 26 at five months 20 weeks and had to hand deliver my babies out of my own vagina in the shower they were never yours ambulance taken to swedish covenant hospital Fucking. given emergency surgery kept in the hospital three days only to be thrown back outside and fired from my job for going into preterm labor bitch you killed them i am tired in the last four years, I have been bludgeoned. I have been stabbed oh 11 times. Oh my gosh, beaten with the tire multiple iron. times. I have been lied to. I have been used. I have been taken advantage of. I have been separated from the people who I love. I have written a 400-page novel about it. I have filed police reports locally in Florida, in Wisconsin, in Indiana, in Georgia. I was contacting homeless shelters. Nothing. Can you please make it make sense? I am a college graduate. Mm -hmm. I have zero criminal record, zero criminal record. I have been working with a work permit since I was four. I'm sorry, but that kind of irritates me the way that she's like, I'm a college graduate. Like, I'm sorry. Does that make you more worthy than? Ambulance taken to Swedish Covenant Hospital, given emergency surgery, kept in the hospital three days only to be thrown back outside and fired from my job for going into preterm labor. You sent them a video. In the last four years, I have been bludgeoned. I have been stabbed 11 times. I have been raped multiple times. I have been lied to. I have been used. I have been taken advantage of. I have been separated from the people who I love. I have written a 400-page novel about it. I have filed hundreds of police reports locally in Florida, in Wisconsin, in Indiana, in Georgia. I was contacting homeless shelters. Nothing. Can you please make it make sense? I am a college graduate. I have zero criminal record. Zero criminal record. I have been working with a work permit since I was 14 years old. Legally too young to have a job unless you have a permit from your school. 
what part of this makes sense to you people? How many times am I going to be abused, used, discarded, robbed, raped, physically assaulted, robbed, before someone actually creates a resolution? I was promised by the last team that I was done being used, that I had, quote, suffered enough, that no human being was made to be a punch. Okay, I don't want her to cry. I don't like it whenever people cry. I don't know. I don't want her to fake cry either. But so bad, I just want to be like, why can't you be your own savior? You know what I'm saying? Like, if you really think you're being, like, if all of these things are being done for you, like, to yourself, stand the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? You think you're all big and bad and, you, you know, you got you. You're the baddest bitch. Fucking, why are you letting some dude from fucking five years ago ruin your life? Fuck that gay motherfucker. Sorry if that word offends you, but that's how I fucking feel. If you think people are robbing you or taking your shit, stand up for your motherfucking self. I am, like, don't, stop playing the victim role. Like, like, it is what it is, like, I mean, I don't, I don't know what, I, I don't know what else to say. Like, it's a broken record literally every single day. She gets in these moods, and it's just repeat. can find them on LinkedIn. Here we are, though. That I had, quote, suffered enough that no human being was made to be a punching bag for someone else. That I had more purpose than being raped and abused. I mean, that is true. It is true. Here we are, though. She obviously needs way more mental she help like than what she got. It's disgusting, you know? And I don't love Xavier because he's a liar. Wow. He's a fucking fraud. And he found me and said that his brother was the district attorney and that he loved me and wanted a family with me. Meanwhile, he just keeps getting me pregnant to treat me like shit because if I'm pregnant and scared that I'm going to be raped and assaulted he can treat me however he wants and I won't go right okay so right there she just said Xavier first of all Xavier sitting right there listening to all this so she's pretty much saying this to us and Xavier Xavier sitting right there so Okay, so anyways, she just told us that Xavier keeps getting her pregnant. So whenever she was pregnant with the twins, for the longest time, she tried to tell us that she got raped from somebody else. And then it kept on slipping up that Xavier was the dad. And then she was talking about, like, the national, like, you know, with the baby with baby's B, everything like that. So then Xavier was the dad. So... I can't. Like, I really hope and pray Xavier's parents are helping him get the fuck away from her. And what I really hope is they're, I don't know, I don't know. Like, maybe they're helping Xavier get away, but also keeping a close eye on Heather because she is pregnant. And if it is Xavier's baby, then maybe they do want to take the baby. Dude, the way she was talking about him. My right shoulder. Hit me however he wants and I won't go, right? But his brother, Carlos, Mendo Carlos Montoya, is supposedly the district attorney. I can't find him on LinkedIn. They're fucking with your phone. Xavier says they're gonna, that he's supposed to help. So how the fuck did she meet Xavier? Where did Xavier just... He didn't fall out of the sky. How did she meet Xavier? The last time I heard was... Whenever she was bouncing around... Like, helping these guys work. Like, the guys... The guy was driving her somewhere... And then the guy's son was dropping her off at Walgreens... And then Xavier was coming... And he said that his brother was a DA... Okay, so Xavier said he was coming. He said his brother was a DA. So did his did Xavier know these people that Heather started working with, but then stopped working with because the pregnant lady was not comfortable with? Is that how they met? Like the way that she's talking about him and how she like. Ugh. Sorry, I'm trying. Fucking fraud. 
and he found me and said that his brother was the district attorney and that he loved me and wanted a family with me. Meanwhile, he just keeps getting me pregnant to treat me like shit because if I'm pregnant and scared that I'm going to be raped and assaulted, he can treat me however he wants and I won't go, right? But his brother, Carlos Carlos Montoya, is supposedly the district attorney. I can't find him on LinkedIn. On LinkedIn. Your phone. Xavier says they're gonna that he's supposed to help us. We've been together now 13 months. 13 months. Xavier and I, on the promise that he was sent wow. by God to help me. Dude, did he for real tell her that? To redeem me, to restore my life, to help me receive restitution. <laughs> There's no fucking way this Xavier is is that crazy as well. That's some fucked I up shit. I could barely move my right shoulder past like here. There's a huge clicking noise. I've never been manhandled or assaulted or. All right, I don't know if y'all heard it or if you want to re- rewind it or go back, whatever. But whenever. Uh, Xavier, whenever Heather was saying that she could not find Xavier's brother, who was supposedly the DA on LinkedIn, and she said the name, you could hear Xavier in the background say, because they're messing with your phone, or something like that. They're doing something to your phone, something like that. So it's like, is he, is he like her? Like, does he actually know better, but he's he's doing this to get out of trouble? Does that make sense? Like, does he know damn well ain't nobody messing with his phone? But he feels if he says, oh, she might believe that someone's messing with her phone. So I'll just tell her, they're messing with your phone. I, my brother really isn't the DA. So now, and I, so now I'm getting kind of, like, even more aggravated because... And I hate to say it, but I have more sympathy for Heather. If Xavier actually did say his fucking brother was a DA. Can you imagine? Like, you feel like you're going insane. You know? And then, it's almost like the boy who cried wolf. Like, I don't even, I'm going to have to rewind this, but it's like everything that Heather claims, it's like you can't believe her. It's always a lie. And then now, if she's telling the truth that Xavier actually said, oh, I'm going to help you, my brother is a DA, and he actually said that, then it's like, what the fuck? Now... What was Heather actually telling the truth about? She had to be telling... She has to be telling the truth about something... If she told the truth about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, obviously she lies about more than anything, but... I don't know, Xavier. You already pissed me off with the fucking first pregnancy. Like, you probably can't come back from that, but... Apartment a year ago brother carlos mendo carlos montoya is supposedly the district attorney i can't find him on linkedin listen they're fucking with your phone xavier says they're gonna that he's supposed to help us they're We've fucking been together with your now phone 13 months 13 months xavier and i on the promise that he was sent by god to help me to shed light on what was going on to redeem me to restore my life to help me receive restitution <laughs> that's crazy bro this is actually pretty sad man I could barely move my right shoulder past like here there's a huge clicking noise I've never been manhandled or assaulted or battered before by a police officer what? 
I feel like you said that happened before. Fake police officers, a lady named Gabby, who I know from the nuclear medicine department at Parag Doshi's Cardiovascular Institute, oh, it's a assaulted bitch? me dressed as a police officer in my own apartment. What? When she batter rammed the door down with two other men. Oh, hell no. And physically assaulted me at the Montclair apartment a year no. ago. I had my lease and my rental receipt in hand, and she said that I was being evicted. And No, let me go ahead and tell you right now, right now, right now, right now. That's a damn lie, because let me tell you, you are bigger, you are way fucking bigger than I am, and if somebody came at me and I knew that they were fucking dressed up and they were not fucking a real officer and they fucking touched me, the, the no, that wouldn't fucking happen. We would be fucking brawling. So you would be doing the same thing to her because you're fucking huge, no offense, you're just fucking tall. You're tall and you're fucking thick. You're you've got fucking solid weight on you where you can actually fucking take care of yourself. That's a whole ass fucking lie. Ain't them motherfuckers, they are not fake. The whole story with somebody donated that's how I know people are simping for her is because she says somebody donated a pizza. I don't know who these people are. I don't know who these people are who like it kind of reminds me of, like, Leticia, where I'm like, who the fuck? But, like, on YouTube, we kind of, I mean, I know I never, like, really looked, care to look, like, who was her sense type shit. But I'm just like, who in the world is sending money to Heather and Xavier? Like, I understand, like, feeling bad for people and wanting to help them. But then you have to realize, okay... How old are they? How many opportunities have they had to get back on their own feet? Job interviews that they've had that they did not go to on their own. What are they doing with the money that they're getting? We, ju we, saw a, we, we just saw a video of Xavier hitting that vape. And then the last video he was hitting it and he threw it in the fucking trash. So it's not only is he littering, littering fucking battery-operated fucking vape pens and shit. That those sh I'm sure those are expensive. How are they affording that? They go out to eat. I'm yeah, I'm sure they don't go to fancy restaurants. But my golly, like it irritates the heck out of me. I don't even know where I why like why I even started talking about this. Like, I just started getting so frustrated. Like, I'm going through so many emotions right now. Oh, who the fuck? Y'all, there comes a time when you feel sorry for someone and you want to be like, bro, let me help you out. You know, you down on your luck. Let me, let me help you out. You know what I'm saying? Help him out. I got it. I understand that. But whenever you see what they are using that money for, and whenever you see that they are not getting better, they're not getting a job, they're not getting serious with their mental health, they're with their kids, or with their life, or with their own personal inner self, stop giving them money. You are enabling them. Please stop. Please stop. I know you may not know them personally, but please stop. Just, I don't want to go on to that. And believe me, I'm not asking you to stop. You know what? Do what you do. I don't even, I, it, it is what it is. Because I know it's hard as hell knowing I wonder if they're fucking hungry. I don't want them to be hungry. Let me order them a fucking $5 pizza. I get it. I understand. But... People do really need to realize, if you pay, who is that? Oh, Caitlin. Okay. So, if you pay for a pizza, then that cash that they were going to use for pizza, they now get to use for whatever they want, including drugs. So, y'all, like, people, people are just making it easier. So, sorry. On with that rant. Mm not even sure where that came from but let me try to rewind this looks like she calmed down a bit 
fucking with your phone. Xavier says they're good. They're fucking with your phone. Do y'all hear him? It keeps on going back to that part whenever she says that. He, t- he doesn't show up on LinkedIn because they're fucking with your phone. And that shit pisses me off too because now it's like, oh really, Xavier? Do you really believe that too? Or are you saying that because you're fucking with her head and you know that she's sick in the head? Two sick people in the head do not need to be together. They need to fucking separate. Like here, there's a huge clicking noise. I've never been manhandled or assaulted or battered before by a police officer. Okay, sorry. Real, 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 real quick. I'm gonna try to make it real quick. She acts like I, it, I, my, I can't move my right shoulder. I haven't been battered. Like it, it's been. I can't believe it hurts so bad. I've never been battered so far. But you have been beaten with a tire iron. You've been t- what stabbed eleven times. You've been like all this shit, and now you're talking about your right shoulder hurts because you have you haven't been battered by a police officer before, and one of them at least was a fucking female. Bitch, please. So I guess I have been battered, but, well, she's fake. They're all fake cops. Fake. Uh, they put on a bulletproof vest and drive all unmarked cars and claim that they're police, but really they just go around beating innocent people. Oh, my God. And all of my audience who's been watching for this past four years, who knows without a doubt what's been going on, no one is helping me. They broke the zipper off my tent so that I can't even lock it closed. Why? What did he say? Just like when the eight hours of sex what? in the Gold Coast apartment he promised was for me to That's be protected. Lie. What? He didn't promise that that was my apartment. No, the eight hours they keep talking about is a lie. You're lying. Wow. And that's why you can't keep yourself consistent. Nothing about anything I've been documenting or reporting has changed. Nothing. It's all been 100% spot on. Ten weeks ago, Xavier had never put hands on me, called me a name, nothing. Xavier had, listen to him, hear him, hear this. Xavier had never called me a name, never called me a name until ten weeks ago. This man would hold me. He made me feel like he loved me. Ten weeks ago, he starts calling me every name in the book, obscene names, physically abusing me, grabbing me by my wrist and dragging me down the street so that my whole entire back and skin is burned off. The NASCAR weekend with 50 to 100 witnesses all standing in the street watching. No one no one sees any problem with this. Okay, so I don't know, obviously, I don't know if that's true or not. The only reason that I'm skeptical to believe that is, again, Heather's a pretty big girl she's taller than xavier she's thicker than xavier she can hold her own she can beat the fuck out of xavier so it would be hard for me to believe that story but seeing how xavier i believe in my opinion has mental problems as well i would love to know if any of this is true, what has changed? Is he taking any recreational drugs within the last 10 weeks? You know what I'm saying? Um, has he stopped taking any drugs? Like, if he was living with his dad, maybe he was taking a certain type of drug or a certain type of medication every single day or as needed whatever and then whenever he went off with heather maybe he kind of fell off and then he stopped taking it for one withdrawals are crazy as hell and for two starting and coming off medications is crazy as hell so, if Xavier is, if he stopped taking medication around 10 weeks ago, or if he started a new medication around 10 weeks ago, 
then that could be true. His mood could have changed and he could be more violent and not the same person. We don't know what the hell they do. Everybody acts different. So I'm not saying this is it, but just for an example, if he is supposed to take um, like Paxil every day, and then after he started meeting Heather, he kind of stopped refilling them, and then he stopped taking them, and then he started to become mean because his body was so used to taking that medication. It, it, can, it can also happen to people who take medication that are not supposed to be on that medication. Like, if you are... Um, look at me trying to fucking educate... Like, if you are taking a medication that is, is for, like, depression or schizophrenia or stuff like that, then you will become fucking crazy. And um, that happened to me. So, <laughs> I was, like, I was the worst. <laughs> and so, I immediately stopped taking that. So, things like that. He could have been on the wrong medication. So, stuff like that. The way that I see, I see, like, Xavier does, he has changed from the very beginning. And I'm not going to lie, if you are with Heather every fucking day, you would change too. But I, like most of us, think that both Heather and Xavier are not mentally ready to handle a relationship and they're not ready to even handle life. They need help and they need help separately first. So, I don't know. So, like, that pissed me off. Whenever she was talking and he said, because they're messing with your phone... That pissed me off because I feel like the way that he said that, I feel like he was taking advantage of her, um, of her mental illness. You or you know what I'm saying? Like of her always thinking people are fucking with her. So I feel like he's he's now fucking with her head, and I don't know. That's why you can't keep yourself consistent. Nothing about anything I've been documenting or reporting has changed. Nothing. It's all been 100% spot on. Ten weeks ago, Xavier had never put hands on me, called me a name, nothing. Xavier had, listened to him, hear, hear this. Xavier had never called me a name, never called me a name until ten weeks ago. This man would hold me. He made me feel like he loved me. Ten weeks ago, he starts calling me every name in the book, obscene names physically abusing me, grabbing me by my wrist and dragging me down the street so that my whole entire back and skin is burned off. The NASCAR weekend with 50 to 100 witnesses all standing in the street watching. She just said the same back. So was that Xavier or was that from the officers? What's going on here? Turning off the Wi-Fi. Oh, he's turning off the Wi-Fi. Because anytime oh, that a person is exposed for the wow. fucking inconsistent person they really are. It's all lies. What part of it is a lie? Come here and have a rational adult conversation. Please right, speak so, to what I said. Um, Please come to me. information. There's, uh, there's a Salvation Army Resource Center that's one mile away. I got the address and a phone number for you guys. Thank you. Um, there's a shelter. It's in the city, though. Uh, most of the burbs out here, they don't have shelters. Um, but there is a phone number for a service. It's called Journeys. It's in Oak Park. Now, I know how far Oak Park is from here, right? We'll, we can, I'll go we there. Call them. Um, but there is a phone number for a service. It's called Journeys. It's in Oak Park. Now, I know how far Oak Park is from here, right? We'll, we can, I'll go there. Call them. I but guess this call is the uh, You know, you guys are much more mobile like the ranger than, or something than, um, than, uh, than some other people but, uh, yeah this is the here sir so uh this is a cor cornerstone community outreach okay this is the one that's in the city it's it's literally 10 miles away this is the phone number you can call for them right here and then on the other side right this is the salvation army 
Dude, how nice is he? It's sitting here giving her all this information, and it, I, let, I want. Let's see if she actually uses it. Okay, and then this is that. This is shelter. that shelter program in Oak Park. Just um, the fact that you compiled that is more yeah. than most have done. So thank you very much. Well, well you know, I'm, 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 we're all humans, right? Aww. Right. You know, uh, uh, you know, I do this job to help people. I'm, I'm not trying to be a bad guy here, right? It's like, understandable. Like, it's 100. percent I just want you to know, yeah. sir. Because I'm very smart, and there are oh. people out here in bad positions worse than me. Up. They can't communicate. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, can't. Yeah, yeah. A lot of these programs are not real. And the only reason I'm telling you this, I appreciate your effort, and I'm yeah. going to call every single one of them. I swear to God I am. Yeah. I've been out here for four years. Yeah. I've been calling. I, I, I'm not dumb, you know? Yeah. So oh, know. if anyone else oh, tells you, God. try to you also use the same patience up. with them because most of these programs they they're not real they list them on the internet they say they are they've passed us out the same trifold pamphlet for literally i just met him 13 months ago but for the three years prior to that that i was by myself i've yeah. made these calls i would literally sit in the forest preserve i had a car at the time so it wasn't as you know desperate because i could park on the street and sleep in the car but i'd go to those little shelters during the day to stretch my legs and literally spend eight to 15 hours just doing nothing but calling all these places and getting nowhere so, um, thank you very much, and we'll leave right now, yeah. and we me, appreciate uh, that. Let me get uh, your name, date of birth. Gator Montoya. Montoya, M-O-N-T-O-Y-A. Yeah. Again, I have no criminal record. Um, no one cares. I was told that this was the redemption because of everything that they had done to me on the reality show, Love After Lockup, that they were going to portray the real me as a mom. As a friend, as a wife, the real person who I am, not the fucking weird, twisted, just fucked up version that they twisted. chose to create for the show that really affected my personal training career, my client list. I've been pretty much self-employed for the past while now. And on top of doing my modeling and the production company, I also do a whole bunch of other stuff. If you guys know, I do website copy and design. Ma'am, you just told this man you were supposed you, you were leaving. You said we're leaving right now, and now you're sitting here talking about how you were on Love After Lockup and you you do websites and shit. Fucking go pack up. I was told that this was the redemption Fucking because hey. of everything that they had done to me on the reality show Love After Lockup. That they were going to portray the real me as a mom, as a friend, as a wife, the real person who I am, not the fucking weird, twisted, just fucked up version that they chose to create for the show that really affected my personal training career, my client list. I've been pretty much self-employed for the past while now. And... On top of doing my modeling and the production company, I also do a whole bunch of other stuff. If you guys know, I do website copy and design. I do um, billing and coding for medical. I do personal training. I do medical office administration. I staff uh, trade shows, the boat show, hot and port nights, uh, tea box, um, bar crawls. Um, I use I staff promotional models, security guards in Memphis, Nashville, all remotely. These are all capacities that I've held successfully over the last, you know, four to seven years of my life, in addition to my bachelor's degree and other professional experience. So why is it that the very first time I ever took out an auto loan in do um, billing and coding for medical. I do personal training. I do medical office administration. I staff uh, trade shows, the boat show, hot and port nights, uh, tea box, um, bar crawls. Um, I use I staff promotional models, security guards in Memphis, Nashville, all remotely. These are all capacities that I've held successfully over the last, you know, four to seven years of my life, in addition to my That's bachelor's degree and dad. other professional experience. So why is it that the very first time I ever took out an auto loan in my life, I have no debt. I, the only debt I have is student loans. I owe no one money. I've done nothing wrong. The literal only debt I have are student loans. Oh I've never even had a credit card in my life, okay? I get all of this 
stuff organized um, to file all of these reports to you know receive victim services and the lady literally answers the phone and goes it's only for medical and I'll, I'll email you the form and hangs up it's literally the exact same form that I've been filling out since 2019 when I was jumped and stabbed by those three women with screwdrivers you guys I am from a very quiet smallville kind of suburb <laughs> You don't have to be afraid of getting stabbed out there, (laughs) okay? I moved out here as a young adult and literally lived in the house, went to work eight to 10 hours a day, took care of my children and went to school online. I don't deserve this. I don't know how to protect myself out here and I'm being hurt a lot. I miss my babies. Get the fuck out. Thank you. And I have to just say thank you because these people are so asleep. They're so asleep, they have no idea. (laughs) I need love, not sex. I need support, not condemnation. I need understanding. Not abuse. Xavier's gonna snap. Like, is she sick? Or was she... Like, I hate... You know what I'm saying? Like, she's either... Don't worry. We we already listened to this part. Was she up all night and couldn't sleep? Like, most of us know whenever your voice sounds like this in the morning, you either party hard the night before, or you didn't get much sleep, or you was doing, like, you was partying. You know what I'm saying? You you, you was partying, you, you just didn't get much sleep. Or she is just, she's fucking, she's sick. So... Did anyone get the updates why she was at the hospital? Because all I saw was the ticket. She said that she went to the hospital, but I don't know why she went to the hospital. See? She got money for her stands. Probably says, oh, it says right there, donuts and coffee. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm not even going to say I'm just... So just an update. Uh, I went to the hospital last night. I found out that I am 13 weeks pregnant. The baby is healthy. I have a cyst on an ovary. No STDs. All, all, uh, all my other labs are clear. Um, I do have anemia, borderline low iron, so I need to eat more red meat. Um, then... This morning, so I only had four hours of sleep last night. We were in the yard till 5 a.m. We were woke. Okay, you also need to take prenatal vitamins and iron supplement pills. I mean, it looks pretty good. Cash app issue, still no word back from Airbnb. Because they don't trust you. Nobody wants you at their fucking... Alright. Alright. Um, this is what I need. I just got to the hospital, you guys. I'm fucking working. You have no idea the circumstances that I'm working under right now, but we're, we're making it work. Um, uh, there's going to be a baby for GoPro Solo, so everybody get ready. So she got out of the hospital again. There's going to be a baby for GoPro. Thank you for that. That's exciting for the family. Uh, I'm 12 weeks, 6 days yesterday, so 13 weeks today. I need development on all of our main six characters. I need you to go in as that character, post your content, tag GoPro. I'm not doing nothing for you because I'm mad at you right now and I'm very upset and I'm no, 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 no. 
No, you need to show some initiative before anybody does anything else for you. Like, nobody needs to give her any donations, no money, no food, nothing until she shows initiative and says, Hey, look, look what I did. Just like her fu- that, that fucking interview that she had. And she's like, oh, what would y'all do? What am I supposed to do? How can I go to the interview if, what, if we have all this stuff? Who's going to watch this stuff? Yeah, that's the shit that pissed me off. Solo, please tag GoPro Solo. Collaboration, tag GoPro Solo. We have six main characters. I'm going to go over them right now. Pick the one that you want to go in as. We have the Congresswoman. Um, and she has a male counterpart. Okay, so tag the, the Congresswoman. Um, if you're going in as the Congresswoman or his male counterpart, Southern accents, Southern perspective, middle class, upper class, uh, you know, doesn't have to be specific to race. You know the type. We have an Italian, kind of like a Jersey you Shore know type, the type perspective from all over the world. Heavy we have, we have uh, a woman who is being oppressed by her partner we have the opposite of that a woman who is very free-spirited uh and single again anywhere in the world from our generation between 20 and 30 years heather's like i would like to be the oppressed one old and then we have the teenage group i need the teenage group to be non-sexually um specific talking about what the fuck is going on for these teenagers i'm not bringing it into kids yet that's gopro solo kids uh that's gonna be bitch teenagers are kids what the fuck you talking about bitch, teenagers you better hold hold on hold on hold on you better be easy now i'm not this she, she comes up with the craziest weirdest fucking shit I can't, I'm not even going to read that. I can't right now. So, InstaWork. InstaWork and some other shift gig um, applications. I am looking for paid work on. If you are a content creator and you have not gotten a budget yet, you're looking for extra money, click on this link. If I've ever hired you as a bartender or as a person in any of my productions or we've ever collaborated together on any pieces, please click this link. Be a reference for me. I will do the same for you. If I ever hired you as a bartender, get the f out of here. Um, and let's that means if I ever bought any from you. Keep working, you guys. Am I a hostage? Am I kidnapped? Why am I being so limited in communication and contact with my children and the rest of my family? Oh, I can't even. I was going to try to read it all for y'all and go back, but I did have an, I'm di I did almost have. Okay. Okay. Um, no, you're not a hostage. You can freely leave, walk away whenever you would like. So you are not a hostage. You are not being kidnapped. I don't know who you think is kidnapping you but you can literally walk away at any given moment in time why am i being so limited in communication in contact with my children because they are trying to protect the kids because I uh, don't know where that went off. Um, obviously, they're trying to protect the kids because you're homeless, not making them a priority, just bouncing around. I mean, why would they want you to communicate with your child if you're not even trying to fight to visit them? Then she says, is my mom alive? I haven't heard from her since November. God, please help. I try so hard to be positive and keep putting one foot in front of the other. I'm hot and sweaty and sad, and I miss my babies, and I want to go home. Okay. 
I feel for her there. I can't do hot, which is funny where I live at. And then it's even. What up? I was eating Danish donated to us right here. Uh, for my pregnancies, I am very active, uh, but I also don't really much restrict my diet. So I'm, I'm usually very healthy, uh, no health issues in my pregnancies. And um, uh, I'm hoping that I have the same this time. So anyways, we did not get to the fire photo shoot yesterday. Um, we've been being targeted again. There are people following oh us, uh, going into my camera, editing my content before I post it. Just the same sad hater shit. Like, hater shit. I'm so glad I clipped, I was able to clip that in the beginning of all of my videos now. This is what we call hater shit. People who have no talent, hobbies, or work ethic of their own, so they follow others around. Um, it's been going on for four years now, and law enforcement has failed to prevent it. So the feds have gotten involved. Um, so it, it definitely takes its toll on me. They're using me. They're leaving me outside as bait in some instances. Damn, that's how you think of yourself as bait? <laughs> they leave me outside as bait? Damn. Um, and there's really been nothing. She cut herself off. I'm sure she's going to blame it on the phone or they. Please, no, let me see. Go back. Please charge every person who has contributed to this vile situation. That is all of you, ma'am. All of you. Your whole self. Okay, so I'm still obviously in the middle of doing my makeup. Let's Was that before her live? Five empty storefronts, literally nothing going on. Look here. So just while this. Oh my gosh, I swear this isn't my phone. Fucking um, video runs out. We have abandoned store number one. See? Target, I mean CVS is abandoned store number two, which is right back there on the corner. Abandoned store number three. Abandoned store number four. Water shut down on building number five. Yet law enforcement find. How should know the water shut down on building number five? What? Is it a problem for us to fucking sit down and do our makeup here? Nothing but abandoned fucking properties. Okay, so I'm assuming this was after her live. Whenever they made her her leave. I'm telling you, if it was just her and Xavier in a fucking book bag in a little tent that they only propped up whenever it was time to go to sleep or to get it in some shade, it wouldn't be a big deal. But they have that big ass motherfucking cart and all the shit on top of it. That care, it's too much attention. Nobody wants to see that shit. So yeah, it draws attention, and yeah, the people, more people are gonna say something more often than not. Alright, so I haven't been able to finish my look because law enforcement doesn't like it when I look gorgeous. But I just want to show you, walking from this direction, no, the CVS is abandoned. Nothing there. Completely closed. Look. Of all the places in the city, this is probably one of the best. We're not obstructing the sidewalk. I have the municipal, municipal, municipal code that says as long as you're not obstructing the sidewalk and people can still walk around you, there's nothing that they could say. People have needs. They need to sleep. They need to eat. Okay. Well, if that... Okay, but that sidewalk was not that big enough. 
for people to be walk they should not have to go out of their way to walk around that big ass thing plus y'all's tent you didn't even show that like she was trying to be like look how big this sidewalk is yeah it's a decent sidewalk but it still isn't big enough for people to walk by plus y'all's big ass shit like y'all would y'all took up most of the sidewalk if that makes sense and that's not that's come on man they need to rest get off their shit and this too and this is jefferson park you guys don't understand these are all the neighborhoods that were primarily dominated by uh immigrant and Ugh. usually pretty Ooh. peaceful areas uh they're funneling people into them who are poor and then all right so i haven't been able to finish I swear, she just fuck. she knows everything. What irritates me so, so much about this is that if it was the other way around, she would, like, bitch and complain about homeless people sitting out in front of her studio apartment. You know, like, if I'm coming out of my apartment building, I don't want to have to see homeless people camped out on my sidewalk. I remember her, she would complain about people littering. Like. Ugh. Let me just play it. My look because law enforcement. And this too. And this is Jefferson Park. You guys don't understand. These are all the neighborhoods that were primarily dominated by uh, immigrant and usually pretty peaceful areas. Uh, they're funneling people into them who are poor. And then giving them no choice but to stay awake for extended periods. Look. Take a very good look. Look at that. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? I mean, come on. It's, it's, it, 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 it's a sore eye, man. Come on. It draws attention. And look how high it is. Come, look at it compared to the pole. Look how high it is. That bitch is stacked. Nobody wants to see that. Obviously, yeah, someone's going to be like, what the hell's going on over here? Probably thinking you hide in bodies under there. Periods of time. Um, and our bicycles, I have a flat tire, so we had to push all of our stuff. Um, but this is just really sad to see out here, four years post-pandemic. Jefferson Park, Illinois. Okay, so this is the completed cut crease look. I just need to add a lash. Uh, they have them at the dollar store. I like it. Um, this is my fourth time doing a cut crease. And with the lash, it's like, you don't have to be perfect, you know? So we're going to go get a lash. You don't have to be perfect. Oh, I don't think I want to read this. I can't. Uh, I can't fight it. I can't fight. Well, hello Here are all five of the profiles that are mine. Check them out. Follow them. The one Heather GEE account. Forget about it. They fucking hacked it. And Forget it's not even accessible. It. However... As a new influencer for Cash App, they are now offering $15 for every sign-up to you and to me. So if you send five, you receive 15. Um, follow my link if that's something you're interested. My new cash tag is dollar sign Heather GoPro Solo. So I'll include it. It's on the last post. It's on this one, too. I'm about to put it on. Oh boy, okay. You know how it's like, I don't even want to get started because once I get started, I'm gonna be getting started and I don't know. Ah. Okay, so it says, I have been through hell. This is a second pregnancy in six months. Clearly, God is in control here, not me. Okay, so if you know that He is in control and not you, then. 
I know it's hard to say, but just let it go and trust the process. But at the same time, that's crazy that she would say, you know, clearly God is in control here, not me. But then she's she's saying that, you know, Xavier did this to her or she got mishandled and it all these crazy like she she lied about from from the entire beginning like i honestly i i i believe the very the the first pregnancy was planned i believe it was planned i believe there was a, a an adoption in place and money involved and she towards the, I, 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 once the baby, once the parents wanted to go to the doctor's office and wanted to make sure everything was okay, I believe Heather flaked out, I, and she wanted an abortion, like, I, that's, that's what I, in my opinion, I think this, it was either an accident, and it, they're just being careless, like always, or, they're just fucking stupid, and they're like, well, if I'm fucking, even if I say I'm pregnant, then I'm gonna get help regardless, so let's just fucking get pregnant, we'll get all the help in the world, which is very fucking stupid, because the only thing you're gonna do is get your baby taken away from you, fucking idiot. <sighs> like, why put a baby through that? I don't want to talk, like, I hate talking about this. Like, ugh, just stay, I just wish you would stay like this, like, you know, I, yeah, I've been going through some rough times, but God's in control, and, you know, I'm gonna, you know, just have faith and lead by, you know, His way, and believe me, as a Christian, I know that that is so hard to do, so I can only imagine it's really hard for her to do, but... I, it makes me so mad because she that's it's either fake or she doesn't she doesn't really think like that all the time because her actions and the things that she says it doesn't add up to what she's trying to say now talking about how she's grateful and God has it and all this bull crap and then like on the live she was talking about witch shit bitch are you kidding me that's the last time don't you be ta tapping into that shit don't you dare and you're pregnant, like, I'll oh, slap the shit out of you. Like, yeah. <sighs> okay, so, uh, for anyone who is not aware of the situation, I've been primary custodial parents of all three of my children from the day that each of them were born, Viviana, Lewis, and Alexis. Viviana's the oldest, Alexis is the youngest of their region age from 16 to 9 years old. Um, they have lived with me from birth through January of 2020. Um, the official move-out date was November 24th, Thanksgiving Day of 2019. Dylan's first Thanksgiving home in our entire relationship, five years together. Um, and I was uh, someone attempted to home invade my home while my children and I were there. Okay, first of all, if, if this... <laughs> If your life started fucking up the day Dylan came home and you started getting to a relationship with Dylan and he moved in and you're still letting him ruin your life supposedly, like, that is all on you. Like, yeah, I mean, shame on him if he was really doing it, but shame on you too. Like, come on. And then, also, if anyone cannot hear her... I have the volume turned all the way up, but she's obviously outside. It's windy. There's cars moving. She's pretty much spilling exactly what she always spills, how much she little she talks to the kids, how what's their names, how old they are, um, pretty much everything that she don't, she don't need to be speaking on. Same shit. They're eating a Thanksgiving meal. I called Chicago police for assistance. They showed up and said the kids had to live with their fathers from now on. Uh, because I was, quote, hysterical. Um, from there, I have literally been fighting for work, fighting for criminal justice, fighting for democracy, fighting for time with my children. 
Okay, sorry for interrupting again, but I let me do, let's note this, let's note this. The officer said, she just now said, because this is, this is a new one. The officer, kind of new, the officer said that the kids need to go live with their dad because of how hysterical she was. Okay, but we heard plenty of times that her daughter asked, and begged to go live with her dad because they were like hiding in the closet and like they were scared as fuck to live there. So either way, the kids wanted to go live with their dads and the officers were t- were told told Heather they needed to go stay with their dad. So we're we're going to go ahead and check that all off like it, it so it, it's not let's not pretend Heather that somehow the dads just automatically have your kids and you just couldn't get them back. There was a reason why they took them, they had them, and what that why they're staying with them. Um, and I kind of just stopped fighting this year. Uh, so what do I mean when I'm not fighting? Oh my gosh. She be typing, she be typing, she be typing. So during these periods, I try to just literally not K myself and distract myself as much as possible. Like, I don't even like saying that word out loud because it's like so like, like, uh, going back downtown because they would feed us there. But regularly we walk back and forth looking for employment, checking on my kids, father and neighborhoods I have done business in for life. January 2024 will be the four year and I, uh, I guess anniversary of the official ending to me and Dylan. When I was thrown out of my own home, he and I and the children shared together. I have been abused ever since. Wow, it's been January 2024, it has been four years and she's still doing this sick shit this she's gonna be fucking 80 years old and bitching about this shit she needs help like not even being a smart ass like she really she does need a she needs to move on heal heal it and get through it and move on from it be happy don't worry be happy uh, anymore, I mean, I'm not like allowing them to make me hysterical. I cry when I'm alone, when they're not like on top of me. But uh, I've learned to quickly silence myself when they are antagonizing me, and it hurts, you guys. It's, I've never experienced such mental abuse as, as by the police and the people who you trust to actually be able to help you. And I've had abuse in my relationships, you know, nothing severe, but uh, psychological abuse. With Dylan, it was pretty bad. Uh, I was completely brainwashed but at the end of the day I have no excuse to not be with my children other than they won't allow me to I walk bullshit you were right you have no excuse to not be with your kids so you should be with your kids so what's your excuse get your ass up off the fucking sidewalk get into rehab get into counseling get a job better yourself and go see your kids there is no excuse for it Damn, it is your kids. If you would not do anything, if you would not kill or die for your kids, what the fuck? Who the hell are you? Not a mom. 15 hours to come see them. Um, I have the court order saying that I'm the primary custodial parent. I've been thrown from my home. My vehicle, the Cadillac CTS that I just paid off, was destroyed, among numerous other abuses. Stabbed, bludgeoned. Uh, and as I said, I've been the primary parent uh, since they've been born. So. No, well, obviously, that doesn't matter. Because she is pissing me off so bad. Um, I've been the primary parent. Bitch, I don't fucking care. I'm sure, first of all, the paper, that um, that is not what it fucking says. Legally, you are not their fucking primary parent. And if for some strange, oddly reason, it does say it, which it honestly wouldn't surprise me because you've been that fucking MIA and then homeless, it, who's been taking care of them? It don't matter what it says on paper right now. Blessing. 
13 weeks, 3 days pregnant, 12 weeks since speaking with Alexis. Ironically, the same day I started getting physically abused, her dad stopped our FaceTime calls. 3 days since Vivi has picked up my son and I spoke earlier. Molly, testimony. We're supposed to be doing the fire and wind photo shoots today. I've not seen my daughter in 12 weeks. I, I'm having a very difficult time focusing on the photo shoot curation or doing any fucking thing creative because I'm concerned for the safety of my family. I know some people won't get that, but um, I'm really trying to compartmentalize right now. I've literally done everything I can, and I, I'm just going to get moving, I guess. We'll be back in a few days. My daughter's birthday is Monday, so I need to come back anyway. Good lord, no she, no she ain't, no she ain't. Let's try to get a job first. And let's not dox people. Three one two, six one seven three zero one seven. Nice car. Yeah, uh, it's a fucking BMW. Okay, let's not show the license plate. Sorry, I'm trying not to show the fucking shit. Gosh damn. It's a BMW. What are you, are you are you trying to help this motherfucker sell it? You think they're gonna give you a profit if they you help sell it? Cause you damn sure ain't gonna be able to buy it. Twenty nineteen. Um, what's up, you guys? Good morning. Um, it is August. What day is it? Twenty. Um, Whoa! Whoa! She jumping far. Nah, girl. It's the sixteenth. Okay, so I am um, an older Irving Park, the same place as we've been for the past few days, two or three. Um, we are heading back downtown because we need to get money from Xavier's father and my bike back tire broke. Again, getting money from Xavier's dad again. I'm so curious about how much he gives him, like a hundred bucks every week. Like I forgot how, how much it was. But I feel like it was a couple of times a month, at least. At least. It's been 12 weeks since I've seen my youngest child, Alexis, um, and her brother and sister, uh, Viviana and Louis, I have seen within the last week, both of them. Um, so I am 13 weeks and four days pregnant, which will be number four. Uh, as you know, uh, my last pregnancy, the twin pregnancy, I went into preterm labor on December 26th. And yeah, let's not talk about why they fucking passed away. Anyways, let's go ahead and read some lies. I am consistent. I come to their homes and works to drop off food and give hugs and kisses. And we speak on FaceTime video regularly, usually daily. This is the third period of two to three months of limited to no communication with my youngest child, Alexis. My children and I have always been very close, and I haven't been the same since this abuse escalated in 2020. All of the injustice and issues with the housing and stability began after filming the show Love After Lockup for the We Network. Yeah. So, uh, for anyone who is not aware of the situation, I'm very Baiting. She thinks she's so fucking like she's just everything. Why would you like this is the type I'm talking about? Like, why would you post pictures of stuff like this? Slander. Please ask questions and do your fact finding before jumping to conclusions and further abusing anyone. Slander. <sighs> fucking shit. Passive aggressive behavior. Oh, bro, you guys on Chick fil A? Must be nice. Must be nice. Okay, so just. 
And FYI, for anyone who's struggling with anything like cherry picking, homelessness, um, oppression, targeting, etc., and so forth, if you guys are going through that, please keep in mind, go into a public place, whether it's a library, whether it's a store, interact with humans every day or few days. Living outside is not good for the psyche. Um, it's just not good unless you are literally intentionally camping for a few days to get some fresh air living outside is not good uh, there there are not many quiet spaces especially you know in the city um, and there are not many dark places especially in the city so you are dealing with constant traffic noise you are dealing with isolation you are dealing with the feelings of dehumanization please talk to people uh, and people be nice to these people we are hurting these people we are hurting these people so are you hurting the people see I really hope that huge ass B is not their cart do y'all see what I see please tell me that's not their cart it's so confusing I know my place is with my children in our home being a mother God made me a mother too many times to ignore the path. Please stop playing with me. Girl, you better stop playing with yourself. You have so many excuses. Xavier says, I'm going to go inside and ask for donuts. Walks around the back, comes back to the front, disappears. Is nowhere to be found. And I'm just sitting here trying to rearrange the cart. Annoyed as fuck. Just wondering, like, what's the life lesson in all of this?